Yeah, man, what's up, my purples? My name is Blessed Beats. Welcome to the Black Hole. JD, J Dilla, J Dilla. His born day was yesterday, February 7th. We all know this. I'm not very unique in having J Dilla as a big inspiration. For me, J Dilla is just sonic and groove perfection. His drums and the timing and everything that he put down was just, yeah. This is the, these are the perfect pockets. This is the archetype for the perfect rhythmical pockets. Most people say oh, the shining donuts, my favorite. I don't like, I don't buy. That's not my era of Dilla, you know what I'm saying? I was introduced to Jay Dilla first at Champion Sound. That era of beats and a few years before, Slum Village, Fat Cat, Frank and Dank, all of that stuff, I just, I would just consume it like it was a, a big juicy burger. 50% of my teen music consumption right there is produced by Jay Dilla. And I would say I, if I have to pick three favorite albums, I think Welcome to Detroit, Vintage, maybe Rough Draft, maybe Champion Sound also. It's a tough pick. Anyways, one of the songs that I've listened to the most out of all Jay Dilla produced tracks is Get This Money by Slum Village. So let us try to recreate that as a little homage, as a thank you to the legacy of Jota Dilla. All right, check them around. I'm not going to play back the original sample here because I'm going to try to avoid the copyright strike. If I do still get a copyright strike, that means I am uh, doing a pretty good job, I guess. But anyways, there is a flute in the original sample and I, uh, I laid that one down first. What Mr. Hancock is using in the sample here is a vocoder. Couple of things about the vocoder. There's a built-in one in Ableton Live that I'm using right now. There's a bunch of VST plugins for vocoders as well. Some people say it's a talk box. It is definitely not a talk box. It's a vocoder he's using. Good pointers here. You have your mic signal in. I found that it's a nice idea to have a compressor before it goes into the vocoder because it gets a more uh, even and loud enough signal. And also try to be very clear with the consonants. Vocoder, you insert it on your audio track that you record the vocals onto. Set the carrier to external right there and get the audio from another track with a synth on it. And when you pick a synth sound, make sure that it's a pretty uh, raw and clean one. I'm using a brass sound, a brass synthesizer sound here. So some sawtooths going, a couple of sawtooths. Just like with the talk box, it makes it uh, come through a little bit clearer. And his vocals are very pretty clear in the original. I can't hear exactly what he's saying, so I'm just going to mumble something. I just want to get the main... I get close to the character. It's not going to be exactly like the original, far from it. But some, some will like it. When we have our MIDI track here with the synthesizer on it, we need to go into the vocoder and get the audio from that track. Boom. Also, I noticed that the more bands you put on it, the clearer it is. And I found that 40 was a little too many bands, so I set it to 36. That was the closest to the original. And then I slapped a compressor afterwards, too. It is cool, close enough. So one of the most important parts, because this is the, the essence of the whole sample, really. So we're going to try and try, try to try it. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the per percussion and that stuff, although it may add some character. It is so filtered out in the beat that um, you can't even hear it there. So we're going to be happy with that for this one. Thank you. 
Let us talking about the effects processing of the sample. First of all, there's a bandpass filter with these settings here. Whatever is a sweet spot for you. Added a compressor onto that. And then I'm also going to add some phaser to give some more space or phaser to the sample and just blend it in ever so slightly in the background, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure that this is the exact effects chain used in the original but the bandpass filter I'm 100% sure that's so audible that that's what he's using because you can change the cutoff frequency between between the verse and the chorus and get the similar, similar results Okay, bye-bye.